Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is October 23rd and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. Look at this atmospheric river pouring into British Columbia. This is what's going to be bringing us our next rainfall across portions of California as well, perhaps as far south as the Bay Area. You can see our upper level low moving across portions of Utah right now. Quite a bit of thunderstorm activity with that as you push that off to the east. But we'll take a look at what is coming here because we got some big waves that are going to be visiting some of the coastal areas, some precipitation amounts even some upper elevation snowfall over the next few days. We'll dive into all of those details as we go through the video this morning. Sneaker wave threat. I would just consider this throughout the weekend coming up because those are some pretty strong storms out there across Pacific Ocean and it's a big ocean and don't be fooled if it looks calm for a time because we did have somebody swept away along the Oregon coast a few days ago here. So be careful if you're going out to the surf zone for this weekend and really at any time during the fall and the winter months. Now, rain forecast Friday night through Sunday. You can kind of see it gets down towards the Bay Area, Sacramento, maybe up towards a quarter of an inch. Better amounts across the higher train and the northwest coast. Talking about Crescent City, look at Eureka there, two to three inches. Weaverville, two to three inches as well. And you'll notice this snow level starting to drop down by the time you go towards Sunday morning. So some of the pass areas, even the Siskiyous could get clipped by some of that snowfall as we go on in towards this weekend. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. It's not a lot, but it doesn't take much to make things slick. Now, looking at the high surf advisory, uh, again, you do have this out for all the way down towards Point Conception here. And I would just kind of keep that in the back of your mind if you're going out to the coastal areas here this weekend with these storms around. More on that here in a moment. But if we look at the European model, there's our atmospheric river pushing into Washington State, Oregon, then down into California. And that's going to come on the day tomorrow, Friday. And that pushes some precipitation down through the Sacramento Valley into the Bay Area. It's not huge amounts for the lower elevations, but it's nice to see rainfall at this time of year for sure. You see some of that snow across some of the higher terrain as we go to Saturday night and on in through Sunday. Then this next system here, this one we got to watch just because if it comes in a little bit stronger, that could be bring some breezy conditions and it is bringing another nice slug of precipitation with it as we go on in through Saturday night and on into the day on Sunday. And then we watch some additional storm development out over the Pacific Ocean. How much of that will clip California? Well, good question, but that is still up over 120 hours out into the forecast. We don't want to get caught up in that just too much just yet. Now, if we take a look here, you can see as this system arrives, it is bringing some gusty winds, especially across some of the ridge tops and the higher terrain there. It could get blustery in the Sacramento Valley a bit. Then that next system, you see that one right there as we go through Sunday? Got to watch that one because it could bring some windier conditions if it is a bit deeper and it has a stronger pressure gradient associated with it. It does show some gust up over 40 for some of the foothills and some of northern Sacramento Valley as well. But overall speaking, nothing too crazy coming in here unless you're across some of the higher terrain. Now, if we look at total precipitation in inches, we saw this already on the Sacramento National Weather Service graphic, but you can see who is generally going to be the winner here as we scroll through the next few days. Some two, three inch totals out there, higher terrain. Sacramento Valley, some areas could be getting up over half an inch. Again, kind of hit and miss there, but the Bay Area finishes up with somewhere around a quarter of an inch or so by the time we go on to the early portion of next week. So, Let's look at the artificial intelligence. I do want to kind of look at the extended forecast here and we'll see that frontal system going through that next system on Sunday. Then after that, it doesn't even show that next system clipping northern zones here. And we get a little bit of a break here as we go towards the end of the month, according to the artificial intelligence. That can still change. You can see kind of an atmospheric river moving into the Pacific Northwest. Not much impact for California with that one. Maybe some lenticular clouds across some of the higher terrain or something like that. But yeah, we're not looking at an active period just now. But I will be checking back on that daily. That, can, that switch can flip pretty quickly when you're looking that far out into a forecast. So... But we do have some active weather here coming up as we go on in through Sunday. So, yeah, we'll continue to watch that very closely. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, this is total snowfall uh, equal to or greater than three inches. And if we go on in through Saturday, you can kind of see some of that teasing out across the higher terrain there. The chances start to increase and it could be impacting places like Siskiyou Summit. Maybe Donner Pass getting a few inches of precipitation in the form of snow as well. Again, as you're going through Saturday night and on in through the day Sunday. So be prepared for some winter driving conditions across some of the higher terrain. If you're out in the backcountry, hiking, camping, you guys know who you are. Watch out for that as we go through this upcoming weekend here. And nothing too crazy, not a huge storm, but it can catch people off guard. Now, also wave action here. So, I mean, we're getting into the fall months. The jet stream is pointed across the ocean here. We're getting some strong winds. 
So you can expect some of this wave action to really start rolling down. Again, as we go through the day on today, you can see the wave action increasing. Northwest California moves down towards the Bay Area as we go through tonight, all the way down towards Point Conception as we go on in through Friday. And you can see these additional storms will be spreading waves as we go on in through this weekend as well. So you got to watch out for that. Don't turn your back on the ocean. Be careful going out into the surf zone. And again, someone already lost their life to a sneaker wave on the Oregon coast just a few days ago. So be very careful at this time of year. Now, 6 to 10 day, you can see the above normal for much of the state of California and kind of a, a clipping of the northern zones as we go through the end of the month. But again, we'll be watching that forecast to see if anything changes. Check out the page Patreon page if you like and what else hope you guys are having a good day we'll do this all again tomorrow and i will talk to you guys then